Hello, this is Ujwal signing into Hadden Info. So today in this session, we are going to discuss about what is sun outage or satellite solar outage, sun transit or sun fade. So let's get started. Introduction of what is sun outage. Every year in the month of March and October, we face the problem that over satellite signals are degraded or distorted. Even it shows no signal for some period of time. After some time, around 10 to 15 minutes again signal level gets ok. Why it happens, how it happens and how long it happens today in this video, we will discover all the answers of these questions. So, what is sun outage? Satellites are stationed over the equator. So, the distance between satellite and earth is near about 36,000 km. Now, as we all know, sun is full of energy. It emits the heated light of high intensity, which generates the noise. This noise is called the thermal noise. So, when the sun with the thermal noise aligns with satellite and receiving antenna on the earth results losses of signal due to interference, it is known as sun outage. In other words, when sun comes behind the satellite and both are perfectly in line with the receiving antenna available on the earth, then it is called the sun outage or satellite solar outage because energy generated by sun produces direct interference with satellite's carrier signal. Let's now discuss about working of sun outage. As shown in the figure, there are three positions of the sun. In the first position, our signal strength is good, but after some time, when sun reaches its second position, then our signal strength gets low or even nil, results freezing in the services. Because in this position, sun is directly aligned with the satellite and receiving antenna with results losses in the signal due to interference of sun's emitted energy with the satellite carrier signal. Again, when sun reaches at its third position, then again, our signal strength gets normal. Now, our services started to run properly. Outage angle is equal to 11 by frequency into diameter plus 0.25 degree. Frequency represents the downlink frequency in the gigahertz. Diameter represents the diameter of your receiving antenna. The earth stations uses the temporary or permanent guards for the protection of their devices. Let's now discuss about what is sun outage duration and its impact on receiving antenna. Sun outage occurs two times in a year for northern hemisphere. It occurs once in February and March and again in September and October. While for the southern hemisphere, it occurs once in March and April and again in the August and September. The average period of time for sun outage is around 12 minutes. Duration of sun outage also depends on your size of antenna. If you are using large size antenna, then sun outage duration will be short for you. While if you are using the small size antenna, then sun outage duration will be long for you. Let's now discuss about conclusion. Sun outage comes due to perfectly aligned position of sun, satellite and receiving antenna. It comes twice in the year for few days for around 12 minutes which results losses of signal in receiving antenna available on the earth. It is due to interference of sun's thermal noise with the satellite signal. Working of this interference is like that, for example, two persons are talking to each other P1 and P2 and suddenly a third person P3 shouted on the person P1. Then the second person P2 will hear the P3's voice only instead of P2's voice. This is all about the sun outage. If you have any question, then let me know in the comment box. I hope you like our video. If you want to know more about it, then don't forget to visit our website that is www.headandinfo.com.